guys, welcome back to my channel and yet another video. It's your girl Melissa and today we have yet another episode of Thrift Flip and Style. This is where I will thrift some items. I will turn them into something magical because I love them but like it's just not there yet. Like it's a cute piece but it just doesn't fit me or I can just see a little bit of, I don't know, an alteration in the future and then it would look really cute. That's what we do here and then I will style each piece for you guys after I thrift flip in the, after I flip them basically. So I have three items, three different items to alter for you guys today. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe down below before you leave. We have a lot of fun here, a lot of fashion, a lot of thrifting, and there's going to be a ton of fall trend videos coming very shortly. We're going to go thrifting for some fall trends and all of that jazz. We're going to talk about some fall trends. So make sure to subscribe down below before you leave. Also follow me on all of my social media, my Instagram, my Depop, especially in my Twitter. I'll pop them up all up on screen right here, but make sure to check out my Depop and my Instagram for sure. But without further ado, let's get into this video. We got old Betsy here, my good old sewing machine. The first flip that we will be doing is actually a pillowcase, and one of you guys, I'm sorry, I don't remember, I remember seeing it, it kind of like went back in my mind, and I was like, that's a good idea. So I threw... <coughs> So a while back, I thrifted this Playboy pillowcase, and uh, one of you guys had commented saying you should turn that into like a tube top or a top or something, and I was like, that's a good flip. So I am going to be doing that. I'm not sure which way I want to do it. Probably like this way. Um, yeah, so I think I could probably get like two out of this. Um, that I am going to just literally cut right down the middle of it. And that way we have two different sides. So I'm going to do that. And then I think that we will be able to figure out where to go from there. Right, now I have two different sides happening. So I do have like this extra fabric on the inside from the pillowcase. So I think I'm going to cut that out or I might sew it together. If Do I think it's going to be a little bit too sheer? Let me just see. Is everything out? And now I have to match up the two good parts together. So when you flip it, so we're gonna sew it, and when we flip it out, it will be like not an outside and an inside part, if that makes any sense at all. You'll see it better in the clip. Um, and now all we gotta do is sew the two sides down here. So we're gonna sew this side and this side all the way down on both sides. To, actually, I'm gonna go switch my thread because I have navy thread. It didn't really matter for the inside, but for the outside, I want it to look nice and clean, so I'm gonna go get some black thread. Oh, and I'm gonna go iron this to flatten the edges out so it's easier to. Now that we have this all done, we are going to fold it over and we are going to pin it to make sure that we have enough room for the elastics to go around. By the way, I'm turning this into a tube top. I feel like I haven't even mentioned that. But I'm gonna be turning this into a tube top, so we're gonna have elastic on the top and also the bottom. So we need to turn both sides over, the top and the bottom, like under like this. Um, we're gonna sew it, we're gonna pin it first, um, and then we're gonna sew it and thread the elastic through. So let's pin. ready to sew. So we're gonna do it. I changed my, my thread, so. It is finished. Um, remember when you're putting elastic in, you have to leave like a little bit of space to slide the elastic through on either side. 
So we are finished the first little part and now we have to do the elastic. So you want to unravel it and make sure it's about um, around your waist, like measure around your waist to get the best type of measurement. I like to, and also they're stretched, so you can even do a little bit smaller than what your actual waist is. Um, I do about 22 to 24 inches usually um, for the best one. So I kind of already know how long because I do this literally every single day of my life. But for measurements, you can kind of figure it out yourself. Right, once you've threaded the first part through, the elastic all throughout, make sure to sew the two elastic pieces together and finish off your... to do is cut off all your loose threads and you have a finished top. You can literally do this with like any piece of material that you have laying around or any old tops that you have. Super simple, super easy and let's go see how I would style it. Oh yes. Why the heck not just make me into a Y2K princess? So here we have the Playboy bandeau that we made. We have my Playboy necklace to freaking match. These cute AF heart sunnies, a pink um, faux fur jacket actually. I think it's real fur but it is thrifted. Um, and then this, these jeans which are from YesStyle. Sorry about the sun which are really cute, and my white booties, and then I just feel like such a Y2K princess in this, like, this is just, like, so bad and bougie, like, this is so freaking fly, I love these jeans, too, oh my gosh, these jeans are actually so cute, they're from Yes Style, and I'm digging them, I haven't worn them yet, and I am really digging them, oh my god, this look is so freaking cute, I'm obsessed, look at the bandeau, though, like, it turned out so good, okay, moving on to the next flip, I have this Nike like um, stretchy type of material top. It is kind of like a, what is it called, dry fit I think it is. Yeah, it's well it's fit dry or something. And I have been seeing a ton of like off the shoulder tops recently that go like down here and I thought that it was like really cool. So I'm gonna try to make one of those and this is going to be a complete wing because I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. So I'm a strategize. Okay, this might be a little bit confusing but I just kind of started chopping because I had vision and I just needed to do it. So I ended up chopping it to look like this and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew the top here and then maybe put an elastic at the bottom there. Um, so Maybe you can like screenshot a picture of this if you're trying to do the same thing or like try to get some inspo online But this is what we are aiming for so I basically just went boom boom and like chopped both ends off I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out and this way it was like a men's large I think so this way I can make it smaller by chopping the one side off too um, because it has that stretch it'll be a lot easier to sew and also um, now we're gonna turn it inside out and we're gonna try to finish off the top part to begin with. that stretch stretch fabrics are very very hard to work with um, so just take your time when you're working with stretch fabrics especially during this project that I'm very much so winging it but just take your time and pray for the best results <laughs> okay I'm super excited about the way that this is turning out so we have like the first part finished it's gonna look a little bit something like this um, so it's gonna be like a wrap top like that. Um, so we have to do this side first. We also have to make sure that it covers the boob. And then we're gonna hem this to really tie in the cute look. I'm so excited. Hopefully this finishes well. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to like, 
um, sew this together to make it a full top and then we will it's turning out to be so so good so I think so now I have to do the bottom so I'm going to crop the bottom and I'm thinking that I want to get rid of the sleeve too and I think that would be such a cute little sport-esque look so I think I'm gonna do that I kind of wish this wasn't here but it kind of gives it a little bit of cool detail um all right let's go Alright guys, I just finished her off and I'm so excited. So I decided to end up leaving the sleeve because um, I can always make another one without a sleeve and I just really enjoy this one a lot like this. So, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited to go try this on. So let's go style it and see what the finished product looks like. Um, okay, this is probably like my fave flip ever. Look how freaking bomb this is and this is the look that I would totally wear with it. Pants again are from Yes Style, I'm sorry, um, but I just have a ton of clothes from them that I like to wear um, right now. And then my new shoes, which are Nike, I forget the name of them, but they're like dad shoes. And then this like Dior bag. Mini bags are just my thing. This is very sporty spice. I am so excited about this top. Like this is going to be my go-to top. I'm definitely gonna wear this to the bar. This is so freaking fly. So yeah, that is outfit number two. How I would style this top. We're gonna go with the spotty spice, a little girly, a little grunge, a little. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Right on to the last flip. So I was going to do another stretch fabric, but so overworking with stretch fabric today because that top was a pain in the ass to work with. So I decided to do this instead. So I have this incredible skirt right here. I love it, but it's just a little bit too long. Like I'm not digging the length of it. This is gonna be a super easy flip. This is stuff that like you can literally do yourself all the time, anything. I literally do this like on a daily basis when I find things that I like at the thrift. Um, and all I'm gonna do is chop off the bottom of it and then you have a cute little mini skirt. So that's what we're gonna do. that so now you have like a cute little mini skirt you can do this with jeans you can do this with shorts you can do this with skirts i do this all the freaking time i knew it with tops even like just crop them really quickly and it's a quick little fix to anything you would also um i could have finished this i could finish this i guess do i want to finish the i kind of like the raw hem of this should i finish this is the question i'm gonna finish this i'm gonna do the right thing and finish this skirt <laughs> little ends that we have happening and then your skirt is done and you have like such oh my god I'm so excited about this skirt it's so freaking cute take a sip of your ass coffee because we done um okay this is so cute oh I'm so happy that I finished it to be honest I just need to go so um iron it a bit Buy this on and style it for you guys. Oh my god, Y2K queen. All right, let's go. Okay, moving on to the third and final outfit and the world's cutest skirt. I am living for it. This is how I would wear it. I would definitely make it a little bit more casual. I have my Chanel trainers, my Burberry bag, and um, just this little turtleneck, pink turtleneck that I thrifted and then just some sunglasses to finish off the look this is definitely like a very casual like everyday look i think it's so cute it's kind of like a mix of y2k and i'm sorry about the sun again but it is just like really cute and i am loving it all right guys that sums up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoy these flips these trips these <laughs> i literally can never even say the name the flip trip 
the thrift flip and styles if you enjoy these please give it a thumbs up don't for forget do not forget to subscribe down below before you leave and follow me on all my social media i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video bye with your phone now snapping like you fabo and you're showing up but it's all right and you're showing up but it's all right